If you had to choose how you died, how you go? Riding a nuclear missile that is crashing into an alien mothership. Was that an Independence Day? More a combination of Doctor Stranger Love and Independence Day. On my own terms, after I felt my life was fulfilled. Physician assisted euthanasia. This is what I would want. If my body is broken beyond repair and I've lived a good life. I want to go out on my own terms without putting my family through the grief of dealing with a suicide. Amen. And I think this happens a lot already. Several years ago my mother was in the hospital. After breaking her hip. She was 3 years into a rapidly accelerating case of dementia. But was responding nicely. To bed rest and the pain medication 2 days after she fell. She was rather cheerful. There was no real chance she would ever recover from this type of injury. And especially in her mental state. By this point she only recognized my father. And she. Thought I was a nice boy who used to live down the street in 1974. Her doctor and I had a series of conversations about making sure she wasn't in any physical pain from the break I also pointed out she had an AD advanced directive on file with both her nursing home and hospice. There was a lot of repeating things that had just been said and looking at each other while we nodded. My mother passed away two days later under heavy pain medication. Thank god for compassionate doctors and nurses. If the pain medication was administered primarily to ease her pain, then that's not euthanasia. That's a doctor or nurse realizing that as the injury was unrecoverable and shifting the focus of care to pain management, the side effect of those levels of pain med may be death. But if the intent was to ease pain then it's not euthanasia. That's professionals being professional and doing what all good doctors and nurses should do. If the pain meds were administered with the primary intent of ending the patient's life, then that has a variety of names. Depending on where you live. Either way, I'm sorry your mother is gone. And that the last few years probably weren't easy for you. And I'm glad her passing was gentle. Probably a supermassive black hole. Being killed by one of the most massive and powerful objects in the universe sounds kinda neat. Plus time. Move slower the closer you are to it meaning you could witness the end of the universe before being torn apart by tidal forces. That or being smothered to death by boobs. I think this one would be the most interesting for your last moments. I won't say which one I'm referring to. Supermassive black boobs. While walking I just drop dead for no reason and it becomes a mystery. Like I'm just walking then then I blink I'm in heaven then they will make a BuzzFeed unsolved video about me. Writing a comment on reddit then kicking the boo. Who says I'm going to die? Also if I were to die, I'd want my enemy to stab me in my left side under my rib cage. But then I stab them too in their left. And we both bleed out on a marble floor whilst talking about how it was nice to go against each other. And how we have feelings for each other. Then the enemy dies. One one tear strolls down my cheek. It starts snowing. My lungs and cheeks are burning from the frost. I breathe one more icy breath. Dies. My answer has not changed since I learned at age 7 that diamonds are carbon and people are also carbon. Compressed by immense pressure into a diamond. You or your ashes. Yes. I don't know specifically, but I've always wanted to die in the most hilarious or ironic way possible. Saving someone else's life. There's a scene in Monty Python The Meaning Not Life, where a old man is being chased by topless women in roller derby outfits and he finally runs off a cliff into an already open grave with mourners waiting. That's how I wanna go. I would want to be the first victim of a future notorious serial killer, so that the true crime nerds will remember me. Why be the victim, when you could be the notorious killer him herself? The death sentence seems like a great way to die for me, in my opinion at least. Edit I'm sorry for turning this into a discussion of how to become a well-known serial killer xd. To be honest I could get behind being an assassin for that same reason. It's just hard to get away with killing people long enough to be notorious. Be a roaming killer. I bet you could rack up a crazy body count just by killing random people at night as you travel. Disposable gloves. A knife and cautious attacking, and I'm sure anyone without a criminal record could get away with crime for quite some time. I would also like to be killed by a serial killer. No need to be first. Many true crime nerds know all the victims well. At least try to because I think they deserve to be remembered. 
twerk to death. Blood everywhere. Quietly, painlessly in my sleep. Dying in some wacky, weird or painful way is overrated. Peaceful in my sleep. I want to be at peace with life. Realize life has no more to offer. Then, a few weeks later, I got to bed one night and just don't wake up. Then I get to see my mom and my dear cat Tom again. Your comment just stuck me up when you said my dear cat Tom. Mate, I lost my bestest girl this year as well. Still not completely over it. Welding a flaming sword while riding Aslan into an army of Daleks. Edit wielding. I have no intention of spending my final moments welding a sword together while atop a Neeson voice big cat. In a base jumping accident after my doctor said I have a week to live. Mimic chest. On the pinnacle of the best orgasm ever. In my own bed. At the age of 80. With a belly full of wine and a girl's mouth around my cock. Sorry we're in a global financial crisis. You'll get. A bed in a youth hostel on a Friday night. With a belly full of sourpuss. And Gary Busey. After he's had some coffee and a few cigarettes. R.I.P. my sweet angel. Getting shot by a tank. That has some sort of flowers painted on it. Edit this tank link I love it. Spontaneous combustion. Just to randomly burst into flames would be great. The most brutal painful way possible. No pain no gain. You have caught my attention. How about a viking funeral. But instead of you being dead you get. Burnt alive while floating out to sea. If you really wanna go the viking route. What you're looking for is being executed by blood eagle. I've always joked that I would commit suicide as a public act of protest so that no one has to suffer through the same thing I've suffered through. Like just stand up yell I can't take this anymore and end myself. But during something terribly boring like traffic school or church so that others will think twice about forcing someone to go. I would love to die after I felt my life was fulfilled personally and the people I loved were all happy and with a stable life. I would probably go to some isolated place in the mountains and die peacefully looking at the moon, would be pretty good. I want to die like my grandfather died, peacefully in his sleep, not like the screaming passengers on his mountain tour bus, edit. Thanks for the awards guys, my first ones, thank you very much. Skydiving into an active volcano. How many people can I take with me? Same way I came into the world, naked and screaming. I want an atomic bomb directly in my face. By opening a parachute in a tornado, seems like fun for a little bit. Maybe shot in the back of the head or just go in my sleep. I wouldn't mind the headshot, but for me, it's important to say it would have to be a random. Psycho sniper or stray bullet, I wouldn't want to be held captive tortured or have my entire family killed in front of me, then get a headshot from behind as a coup de grace, but if I had to pick only one way to go, it would probably be death by inert gas and by my own hand. It's funny how you ask this on your cake day. Euthanasia. It must be good to die like just sleeping, without suffering. White paint spray painted on my mouth, yelling witness me while topless and hopping between war vehicles. Good times. In the most violent way possible. Specifically murdered. But the murder can never be caught. I want the chance to have a true crime doc about me. If I can't be famous in life, I sure as heck will be in death. If the plane goes higher than normal and the pilot depressure rises the cabin you die slowly and gently without feeling anything. So I guess that. After the last brown dwarf becomes a black neutron star, I want to observe the last black hole evaporate. After that, I hope to have already been able to transition to other realities that I expect to have similar longevity issues. I want to outlast the last reality of all of existence and die effortless between the abstract concepts that collapse in on themselves as everything ceases to exist. When I was younger I believed world would end in 2012, but not the horrible way they showed in the movie, but like in an instant. Boom. I think that would be a nice way to go, knowing that you aren't leaving anything behind and no one is going to be lonely afterwards. By eating too much cheese. 
I'd like to live until the sun expands and devours the earth. I think witnessing that would be cool. In my sleep, surrounded by my son, grandkids, great grandchildren and their spouses. That's kinda weird. I watched my grandfather take his last gasps and flatline in front of me. Trust me it's not as peaceful as you'd imagine. More selfish really. Overdose on coffee. Quickly, my heart stops and it's over. Preferably while I'm asleep. Although the trauma that would cause my family makes me sad. I'd want to just drift out of my body while on a few tabs of LSD. Death by snoo snoo. I wanna die being remembered. People like Alexander Hamilton and Martin Luther King Jr. They'll be remembered for a long time. And I want to be remembered for changing the world. Maybe on the battlefield. Or being assassinated. I want to be known. I just don't know how. I know it sounds ridiculous but that's how I wanna die. Dying of laughter. Head on crash with a semi in which it wasn't my fault, so my daughter can get a big payout and not have to take care of me once I become too debilitated to care for myself. I work in a small cinema to screens we once had a lady that came for a screening and died in her seat watching a documentary. No one around her noticed anything. I think that's just wonderful. Doing something you love and falling peacefully asleep. Perfect. Alongside a cute Annan girl. Smothered by a body pillow. Okay. It's your death. Shot in the head while I'm sleeping. Scuba diving with nitrous instead of oxygen. Or a don opiates when I'm old as duck. In bed comfortably. Old as duck. Knowing I did my part in life. And then. Take a deep breath. Then die peacefully. And happily. If my country was under threat by the heat of battle, while serving my best. As most redditors here I wish I died while dreaming. But, I usually see dreams. Most of them are horrors. Some are fairy tales or realistic ones. My fav dream is where I'm flying in my hometown multiply now I'm living far away from that place. And I do really regret that my parents decided to move. Probably that's why I have a lot of dreams of my lovely town friends and unforgettable time that I've spent there. It's such an incredible feeling when you can not only fly near surroundings, but help people too yeah. I like superheroes and all that theme. You know. Moreover, when I was a child I was a sleepwalker. Besides, at the age of 8, 10 I guess, I wanted to commit suicide because of some family problems. For some reason, I'm still thinking about ending life like that. So I wish I died sleepwalking and dreaming at the same time. In that case, I'd open the window of a flat which is situated on the 10th floor in my hometown and jump off it. However, in my dream, I'd fly and spend my time with parents and friends who I miss so much. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. It was winter. By the way my fat season. When I was thinking of suicide. I wish I died during winter, or when it's my birthday 31st of January so symbolic. Huh. Well I'm the pirate man. So it makes sense to go out in a cowboy shootout with the law. To a pirate ship awaiting me at sea. I find out that one of my crew is a snitch. Kill him. Sail out to sea. Fighting boats upon boats of the law. Finally, when I'm all out of ammo and the law are still chasing. The battle lasting for hours. Some law coming from halfway across the state. They begin to board the boat. With no guns to protect myself with. I use hand to hand combat. I get the first couple down. But one gets on the boat. And in an epic battle. I throw punch after punch. Finally. After that one goes down. One puts a gun to my head. Slowly. I turn around. In an attempt to save my skin from him. I yank the gun from his hand. He is faster. And pulls the trigger. I lost. My life snuffed out in an instant. I'd wanna be old and die in a ball away. So everybody would ask my family how did he die. And they would be like oh he decided to go skydiving at 94 years old. High on shrooms. And forgot to pull his parachute. Sounds cheesy as duck. But jumping in front of a bullet for someone I loved. It'd make me feel like my life actually meant something. Peacefully in my sleep. I know it's not the most dramatic, but I think it's the easiest 